Hello and welcome to the review of me, Winner and Trade, picking up right up the first time where I had to fight Hungary, um, the Republic of Italy over here, and also Britain and Finland, so I never actually did have to fight Finland, because I was eventually able to just get peace with them, because I had Norway and Sweden fighting them for me. I had to do a little invasion of Britain to get them to accept peace, but yeah. Republic of Italy is now gone and all that stuff, this one that was for that was communist. So yeah. I ended up getting those two provinces there and this little bit here. And yeah, the borders here are not great because they for some reason thought doing this was a good idea. And well, even that province right there is enough to get me to invade them. Which is going to happen this episode, considering, um, yeah, I'm going to be taking over the entirety of Italy. But I also went over here, took over Hungary, of course, took over Albania, Bulgaria, and what was left of Greece, and also annexed my two vassals over here, including the one over here as well. And also got a little trade deal with uh, Ukraine to give me a little bit of plans that they had right here. As you can see right there, cost a few million to get all that from them. I was trying to get the rest of these provinces here that I have bordering there, but they wouldn't accept. So that'll work out for me. But uh, yeah, to start things off here, I think we want to try and recruit more troops so I can finish laying troops up along Switzerland's border, considering I want to take over Switzerland first. And then go after Italy here and push down here. So yeah, I also kind of want to try and finish recruiting troops over here on the, this border against the Prussian Empire. Considering I don't really want to possibly deal with a war with them and not have troops over there to defend myself. So beginning of this episode, I'm basically just going to be recruiting a bunch of troops. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to work on that, I guess. Starting off over here. Okay, so all the troops have been recruited now. I have 3,000 troops in every single province along here right now. And I also finished recruiting troops over here and basically put recruited an extra amount for all these. So I'm now to 2,000 each, and I apparently forgot to recruit more in this. Right there, so there we go. Okay, so to start things off, I'm going to be going after Switzerland for obvious reasons here, to be honest. So, let's put points in military tactic. No idea what that is, to be honest, but why not? But, yeah, first off here is Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland has an alliance with Portugal. Huh. Well, I guess I'm going to have Spain deal with that then. Sure. Because I don't really want to be going over there to fight Portugal to myself, to be honest. But yeah, there you go. They refused all to pay them. So I had to have all invade them. Do those attacks later, so I can actually have them surrounded, basically. Because take those two and then they're surrounded there, I can't do anything. Okay, so over here, um, try that, and that, and then go into attack there. Try and surround as many of the troops as possible here, so I can easily wipe them out. 10%. Done. Okay, 30%, but it's basically all just those three provinces, I'm pretty sure. 
Considering those are the only valuable ones they really have. The rest of this is just mountains. Oh yeah. Porch goes towards me. Um Spain, could you do this for me? I'll even give you a million gold for it. Okay, there we go. Good. Now to line troops press the troops up on Italy's border. Lost three thousand troops apparently. Okay. I'll let Spain deal with all that for right now. And I'll recruit some more troops over here to finish lining them up on Italy's border. There we go. Good. Got all that done. For some reason, Spain is struggling to deal with Portugal over here. Hmm. At least I can get peace with Switzerland right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Really? Spain takes or Portugal but leaves their islands. Okay, sure. Sure. I guess I can deal with myself then. Also, something I haven't actually done at all really in this entire game is actually go go crazy building forts everywhere. So I guess I'll just go ahead and do that since I have tons of money currently. Okay, so I went crazy and built ports as I said I was going to do. As you can see, yeah, I got a lot of ports now. Around all my coastlines and everything. I also recruited some troops around here so I could deal with what's left of Portugal over here. And for some reason, these provinces they have are very highly populated considering, yeah, 20,000 in every single one of these. That is quite a bit. Considering, uh, yeah. That's basically the same size as my most populated provinces. No idea why those are so populated, being off over there. You know, a lot of Portugal was pretty heavily populated. So I kind of just made Spain quite strong. They're actually stronger than Ukraine now. Jeez. Maybe that was a mistake to have Spain do that. No, oh, well. Not much you can do about it now. Let's go ahead and do this here. There we go. Now, let's send these troops back over here somewhere, I guess. Um, let's put them down here. So, that is Portugal dealt with. Good. I actually lost 3,000 troops there. Fighting them, apparently. Huh. Weird. Don't think I recruited that many troops. Oh, whatever. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, all that basically sports. Good. So, Italy. There's no way you're going to accept all to pay them. So, just go to war with Liechtenstein right now. Which drags Italy into the war immediately. There we go. Good. I also don't and be forgetting about this here, eat there, or that. Eh. Also now to our Sardinia. Eh, dudes, them being with another one of Italy's vassals. Eh. 
Okay, you've now lost your capital. Good. Good, 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 good. Now it's our capital, right? So there is absolutely nowhere they're going to get that back at this point. There we go. Now to throw their country. Currently under my control. Wait, don't forget my mentor Sardinia. Jesus. Okay. Hmm. Where are you sending those troops? Okay, Italy. Sure. That should be the end of everything over there. In Greece. And that's going to be the end of Sardinia. As well. Eighty-five percent complete to this war now. And there we go. Italy has fallen. The formerly communist Italy, that is. Since there are two of them. Take Lichtenstein and the end. Wait. We can't actually take over all of Italy. Huh. Okay. Sure. Guess I'll just take everything that I want to here. And just trying to vassal the rest or something. If I actually have the diplomacy points left to do that. Which you don't. Great. Okay, in that case, I will just be taking as much as I can. Wait, what? Still have diplomacy points. I still have more points left, and I just took literally everything on the world. Uh, let me check this again. Okay, I can take all that. I can take all Sardinia. Okay, sure, apparently I can take everything. Weird. Why do I think that I didn't have enough points? Wait, the only points, points I had left would have been for that, wouldn't it? Huh, weird. It's just, why do I think I didn't have enough points? Eh, whatever. There you go. Now, it is time to deal with Morocco. Monaco. Okay, here we go. Let's deal with Monaco very quickly. I'll probably actually just accept an ultimatum, to be honest. This is not very strong at all. I do have an army of nearly 200,000 troops at this point, so... Okay, apparently they don't accept. Sure. Wait, how in the world were you able to stack that province? Huh? What? Um, okay, sure. Accidentally ended the turn there. But okay. There, that's dealt with. Good. That should be everything that's left now. Oh yeah, and Dora was an ally with them. Forgot about that. There we go. And Dora was super weak. Your single provinces. Monica could just have any one of these provinces still been stronger than Andorra, apparently. Guess I'm going to start lining more troops up over there. Or when I eventually go to war with Spain. 
Turkestan. Just went to war with Ukraine, huh? <sighs> okay. At least they're not a vassal of Russia. Good. That's good. Sure. I'll actually accept that. Not aggression pact. It's rare that I ever accept non aggression packs or anything like that. Because, yeah, there's not that much of a point in them in the first place. But considering how much they hate me, I'll accept it. If they're actually wanting non aggression pact when they hate me so much, yeah, sure, I'll accept the darn thing. So now I just need these two ex to do it. And then this entire area is kind of safe. Though the Prussian Empire doesn't really like me anymore, apparently. And yeah, 10,000 troops in every single one of these provinces are here. Let's go against the Kingdom of Two Sicilies. Yeah. Okay. Time for this war, then. To finish off the last of Italy. They, of course, don't accept it. Despite my army being like a third of the size of their population. Or something. Yeah. 200,000 troops and they have its 600,000 population. Yeah. Don't think they're going to do very well here. I also need to remember to do province stability still. Because I got that stuff there to do still. Okay. And for the most part, I think I have all that done at this point. Just need to make sure I actually have the money to finish it all off. Keep those troops behind there, since there's any troops are here. Okay. Okay, okay. And there you go. They capitulated already. Wow. Wait, what? Huh? Turkestan? Had an alliance with the Kingdom of Two Sicilies. Did they just make that alliance or something? Hard to tell considering this thing here is bugged. It doesn't actually work. And say the actual date. That is created. Huh. But they're currently getting taken over by them, so. Yeah. I don't really care about them, to be honest. So I'm just going to ignore that. Take the Kingdom of Two Sicilies, and I'll be done with this. Okay, so. Let's creep up all my troops now, I guess. Here we go. Yeah, figure out what to do next. At this point. And of course, the first thing I need to do is promise guilty and everything here. Get all this done. Okay, so, got province ability and everything there done. I got all my troops basically lined up in the Republic of France and Spain now. And I'm also apparently have slightly improved my relations with Russia. Apparently. Considering that was like 99, now it's down to 78. But, uh, yeah. Sweden and Spain are the only countries that actually have good relations with me currently. And I'm laying troops up on Spain's border. Because <laughs> I don't really know what else to do with all the troops I have now. So, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to currently form the German Confederation, which is something I've been able to form for quite a while at this point. <laughs> Can't do that because I don't have Scandinavia and England. Of course, can't make the European Union because of all that. 
Roman Empire and needs all that stuff there. And a little bit more over there from Georgia. Greater Germany requires that, which I could get just by annexing my vassals. But I honestly don't care about doing any of that stuff, so yeah. I end up finishing all this over here in Italy quicker than I was expecting to, so yeah. I think I will actually continue some stuff here. Starting with France. I says I have pretty good relations to me, just not anywhere near as good as Spain's or Sweden's. So I'm basically turning on all the countries that actually like me currently. Jesus. Okay, whatever. Um, France, 150 provinces. Jeez. That's basically all up there. Considering there's barely anything down here at the bottom of the map. Because it's all desert. Like all that is just three, five provinces. Basically the other 115 are all up here. Now it's like 50 there just for Tunis. The rest is Algeria. Okay. There. All 150. Okay, here we go. France, this is the end of you. And I mostly have all this stuff down here in the Sahara done already, pretty much. a few extra turns to finish it all off. That's it. That's only a fourth of this done. Because everything's right there. May look like I have a lot of lands, but I don't. Two more turns for that. Okay. I kind of forgot about that island right there. I need to take. The main reason I actually want going out to France is just because, well, it's pretty much the only thing in Africa left for me to take. Ignoring Spain's colonies here. So it's kind of just keeping quite a bit of my troops lined up on the border there that I did not want to be dealing with. About 40% done. That's about to speed up a lot. Because I'm moving in over here. I'm pretty sure the majority of that is literally just all of this. Considering those are large cities, I think. Large populations. Yeah. Get that there and they immediately capitulates, basically. And there we go. France has capitulated. Take all. There we go. Now, for all the troops to get ready for whatever they're going to do next. Okay. Belarus declared independence, huh? Ha 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 ha. In that case... First thing I'd like Lithuania to take them over. But they have a smaller population. Really? You got peace already? That's all you did, huh? Took nine provinces from them, huh? Okay. Sure. 
Yes. Ireland is at war with Russia, apparently. And Ireland is the one that started the war. Ireland, are you insane? Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to have Lithuania keep fighting more wars with Belarus, to be honest. I'm going to keep doing that. Have them fight those wars. Take more turns and I'll have them go to war again, I guess. So, yeah, next up is Spain, for sure, considering, well, there's not much else that I border at this point. So, deal with Spain, and all my troops are here completely free, and I guess at that point I'll go invade Britain. And take the Isle of Man and Ireland along with them. And then I guess it's just a full-on assault. To the east, I guess. Taking over all this up here. Hmm. Norway's capital's up there now, because they lost Oslo to Sweden. Eh. Okay. Once Sweden to take over Norway. And just finish that stuff off there. Let's put a ton of my budget into research right now. Okay, sure. In that case, Ukraine has to do it. I was concerned when I saw Belarus was somehow stronger than Lithuania. Despite the fact that I'm pretty sure Lithuania was stronger at first. Did Belarus totally just take back their land and that's it? Is that literally all they did? Is get back their land? And Sweden won the world. Seriously? Ugh. God. Why can't you finish them all? Jesus. There. Guess that works. 31 turns, Lithuania will take over what's left of Belarus then. Though Belarus is apparently still stronger than Lithuania. Belarus just last ha lost over half their country and they're still somehow stronger than Lithuania. They have about the same size population and twice the economy. When the world. Okay. Lithuania's population is basically just a single tenth of their population is a single province. Oh god. You know, that's the reason why I'm paying tons of my budget in technology is because, well, I'm down here in technology. Oh, I got all these other countries up there. Yeah. I kind of been build up my technology a bit. So for right now, I guess I'll just go through turns to do all that. To try and get technology up a bit. Though it's really not going up very much at all. Oh god. Okay, there. If you ain't can actually fight the war now, apparently. Good. So, let's do a bit more here, I guess, for right now. Thirty turns, and that's gonna be finished. Good. And Russia took over like a chunk of Ireland. Of course, they did. Oh well. No matter how much my budget I pin to research, it really doesn't do that much, to be honest. 
This thing just takes so much to go up a single level on the darn thing now. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to catch up to all these other countries. The only way I'll catch up is by way taking them out. Take, completely taking them over and everything. Otherwise, there's no way I'm catching up. At least Russia isn't very far ahead. Just got two more points than me. Hungary's not even that up there. They're one underneath me right now. Huh. Okay. But yeah. Spain, next episode. If I get that done very quickly, which I probably will, I'll go after Britain and Ire what's left of Ireland now. I'll have mine there. And then at that point, I will be trying to figure out what to do after that. Yeah. Because it's getting close to the point where I'm going to have to fight a war with Russia. And also, before I actually forget about this, by the time I get to go do the next video, I want to make sure Sweden is at war with Norway again, because I seriously want Sweden to just take over Norway. And apparently Finland went to war with Norway as well. Okay. Guess they'll both be fighting them then. Okay. But have Lithuania finish off the last of Belarus as well next episode. While I take over everything over here. And yeah. I honestly don't know what to do after that. I could go out of the Prussian Empire, I guess. Take Pakistan over as well there. Maybe... No. That would involve going after Russia, basically. To do the rest of that. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go to war with Russia soon. Which I guess, considering I'll be doing that, I'll have my vassals join in the war for once, considering I honestly haven't done that at all, really. Literally. The Baltics there, Lithuania and Belarus never actually really fought any wars. It's always Ukraine that helped fight wars with me, because they're the ones that actually border those countries. And we're here, basically. Now that we're here, these three basically only ever bordered Russia. So there's literally no point in having them join wars. So, yeah. I guess I'll have all them join in a war. In the war with Russia once I get to that. Now we'll try and have all this over here as one country. Get Sweden and Finland to control it all. I guess. Mm -hmm. Not really sure. Maybe I'll just have it. Let Sweden and Finland split the area up. But yeah, after I deal with Spain and Britain, it's basically just go to war with Russia at that point, I guess. Okay. Sure. So, I guess that's there is the end of this video. I hope you've all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,